Hello, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this 11 inch MacBook early 2015 and we're going to be looking at this storage issue. So if we see on this computer right now, we have 121 gigabytes of flash storage available and it's almost completely full. That's because these laptops had criminally low storage as the bottom tier when they first came out. And out of the 128 gigabytes of space, a lot of it's been taken by the support partition, the recovery partition, and then the rest is used by the system and by apps and documents, etc. So it is really, really easy to fill these computers up. And that's why um, instead of trying to continually clean this up and remove files and things, it's a really good idea to think about other storage options. Today, I'm going to be installing this solid state drive onto this MacBook Air. And although the MacBook Air requires a proprietary solid state drive connection, what we're going to use is one of these adapters, which I'm going to link in the description, to allow this particular solid state drive to connect to this MacBook Air. This is considerably cheaper than using one of the third party um, Apple uh, solid state drives because you can pair any NVMe PCIe um, solid state drive and uh, they're quite cheap these days relative to how much it used to cost and that this is pro pro this is probably the most cost effective way to fix this problem. This is probably the most cost effective way to solve the your disk is full issue because um, we're going to have way more space to download games and applications and we're not going to spend a huge amount of money on this upgrade. So the first thing that you need to do really is to make sure that the operating system of the laptop supports the new NVMe uh, driver support. And that was introduced in High Sierra, which is 10.14. And right now we're in all, um, September 2020 and the Big Sur update hasn't quite come out yet. And um, I am reluctant to install Catalina just because I know the the user who uses this laptop is a very keen gamer and Catalina and Big Sur both dropped support for 32-bit applications. So what I'm going to do is do an update from Sierra to Mojave, which is jumping two versions, but it's the version before the, the drop in 32-bit um, applications. So the way to get Mojave or any kind of old um, operating system from Apple is to, you know, Google macOS Mojave, and then you'll find this uh, Mojave support page. And um, in the links on stage four, there's a button here to um, install Mojave from the App Store here. You can't get the link from searching the App Store itself. You have to use um, an external link like this one. And all we do is open the link in the App Store, and then download the update and install the operating system. So this needs to happen first before we um, are able to install the solid state drive. And inevitably, of course, we need to clear up some space before this works. There are several ways to get your old data from your smaller solid state drive to your larger solid state drive. And to avoid buying any kind of cables and adapters, what I'm gonna do is simply use a generic hard drive and clone the data from the small solid state drive onto this hard drive. And then we're going to clone the hard drive back onto the new solid state drive once I've installed it in. And that avoids the use of any kind of proprietary adapters that you probably won't have access to because um, Apple adapters are incredibly hard to find and quite expensive too. So this method of doing things is um, more accessible. I'm using a hard drive attached to this um, SATA adapter, but you could use any kind of large USB flash drive or large external hard drive to do this clone. And the software I'm going to use is Carbon Copy Cloner, which is free to trial. And I'm going to download this and install this now. So all we need to do is start this trial and um, I'm going to show you how this works exactly. 
So once you've got this screen available, what you want to do is select do the internal drive as the source and this external drive as the destination. And I'm going to turn the safety net off, which is basically means that files not on the on the internal drive will all be deleted on the external drive. So if I just click this clone button here, and um, it's going to ask me to install this particular thing. It's just part of um, the uh, Carbon Copy Cloner system. And that's started now. So I'm copying about 121 gigabytes of data to the external drive. And then when we're finished, we're going to uh, boot from the external drive and then clone it all back. So once the solid state drive is cloned onto this external drive, what we want to do is sh do a shutdown now and then install the new solid state drive into this computer. So once you've installed a compatible operating system, so anything High Sierra or above, so High Sierra, Mojave or Catalina or above, then you can install the NVMe solid state drive into the computer with the adapter. So the first step is to flip the computer over and to um, unscrew the bottom case. So it's just a case of using one of these pentalobe screwdrivers and then taking off all of these screws on the bottom. So this laptop's a little bit dusty and it's gonna move some dust out the way. And what I'm gonna do is use a T6 screwdriver to remove the holding screw on the solid state drive. So now we can um, move this drive a little bit and slide it out of the logic board and place it there. And what I'm going to do now is show this adapter, which allows NVMe drives, such as this one, to be installed. So I'm going to open this crucial solid state drive box and then install it into the adapter and then fix the adapter to the computer. So as you can see, this NVMe drive can simply slot into here, like so. And this adapter itself can slot into the logic board. And both of those drives can be locked down using this original screw. Okay, good. So once that's in, what I'd recommend that you do is we will put the bottom case on without screwing it in. And then I'm going to do the next stage of this process. So now that the new solid state drive is installed, what I'm going to do is boot into the clone system and then clone the data onto the new solid state drive. So to do that, I'm going to hold down the option key and press the power button. And what that'll do is these um, these orange icons show that this external drive, which is named here, um, can be booted into. So what I'm going to do is just simply click on the arrow button here. So this boots a little bit slower than normal. It is going through a USB 3.0 connection, but it's I'm using one of these old hard drives, which is uh, salvaged from a different Mac. So now that I've booted into the operating system from this drive, I've opened up this utility and you can see that this solid state drive is uninitialized. So it means that we need to format it. So I'm going to erase this and then give it a APFS. This is just to future proof it because if the client wants to install Catalina, then we're going to need that formatting for later.
So once that's erased, what we're going to do is use Carbon Copy Cloner to clone the data back. So once again, I'm going to do a trial. And we're going to start a new task. So the source is going to be this external drive. And the destination this time is going to be the internal new 500 gigabyte solid state drive. So when we press clone, that's going to copy everything over, including the operating system and everything, the client's data is all there. So once the hard drive has been cloned to the new internal solid state drive, then we can shut down the computer and unplug this hard drive, and then we should be able to boot up as normal with all the clone data on the new 500 gigabyte solid state drive. So I've switched on the computer and the laptop has automatically booted into the new 500 gigabyte solid state drive. And as you can see, there's plenty of space left to fill up and it's a huge upgrade over the stock 128 gigabyte solid state drive. The only thing left to do now is to um, take the bottom case and screw in all the screws and then your laptop's completely ready. So just reverse order of the screws being um, unscrewed from earlier. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe for more tech videos. Thank you.